Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan, back with another video for you. And this is an introduction video to a little project that I've uh, taken on uh, in kind of uh, cahoots or whatever you want to call it with uh, Special Tech. Obviously you guys know that I do a lot of work with Special Tech. Um, and this was something that kind of ties in with the competition that they're doing and the fact that they wanted to uh, give a bit of a boost in the UK and to everywhere else in the world about the coolants products. Um, so we're going to be doing a build in the Cosmos 2 and this is just like a feature build. This is me kind of doing a rig, uh, building a rig up to see what we can basically do with it with a select set of components. Uh, we've decided to call it the Cooler Master Coolants Cosmos. Uh, so the CKC basically. So look out for videos because they're not going to be uh, one after another. We're going to be doing this over the next kind of three to four weeks throughout April. And this also coincides with a competition that uh, Special Tech are running with Cooler Master. And I've got it written down because I keep forgetting. But you've got the option of winning a Stormtrooper, a Cooler Master Storm Sentinel Zero G, um, and a Cooler Master Storm uh, Zornet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to the uh, thread that I'm going to put on uh, the Special Tech forums. So if you want to click that link and go in there and say, woohoo! I knew Tiny Tom Logan sent me or TTL sent me or whatever like that you can click the link underneath and go and um, take a look but you can also once you are on the forums and you've registered make sure you put me down as a referrer you can then uh, enter the competition and like I said special tech great guys uh, it's wicked little forums that they've got there uh, but it's uh, my favoured place in the UK as a and by in the UK I mean they are a UK company so obviously I do do stuff with other people that are from outside the UK, but Special Tech are a UK based company and they hold all their own stock as well. Uh, and that is something in the industry that a lot of people uh, don't really do anymore. They're just basically drop shippers. Uh, what used to be the biggest UK water cooling site in the, well, in the UK basically is now nothing more than a drop ship site for uh, a big water cooling company in Germany. It's literally nothing anymore. Um, that actually I'm quite happy about, but never mind. Um, but Special Tech, buy in all their own stock. Everything that's on that shop that says it's in stock, they have at the premises for shipping the same day as well. And that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to promote UK businesses, because obviously we want to keep all this local. And the boys, they're brilliant. Um, you've, got, you've got Roots, you've got um, Aid, and then obviously the owner, Steve. They're all a great bunch of lads. They're the people that you're going to be talking to if you're asking questions on the shop and stuff. Um, and it's companies like this that if I can use my kind of, I, I don't really like saying it, but if I can use my influence on YouTube or my celebrity or whatever you want to call it, basically just the fact that thousands of people watch these videos, if I can do that to help uh, another company in the UK, then epic because they help me so it's only fair that I help them back. So that's why we're going to be doing a, uh, this rig. Now we have got an immense amount of stuff that we need to cover but it's essentially, squeaky chair by the way, really should put some WD-40 on it. Uh, essentially it's all going to be based around an Asus Rampage 4 Extreme and two Asus 7970. So we're going to be doing 7970 Crossfire in this and they are going to be water cooled. Now I know I've showed these in a previous video in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rejig the camera so we can bring you in a little bit closer and I'll show you these bits uh, and a little bit more kind of so you can get a little bit more, rather than me going like this with them. I'll bring you in so you can get a better look at them um, and then, uh, yeah, I should just shut up and we'll do that really. Right then, peeps, camera moved. So like I said, we're going to be basing this uh, around coolants products, the Cosmos, and Asus products basically, other than the scythe fans, that's it. So, to, to start off with, we'll take a look at the uh, graphics card block. And this is the VID AR797 video cooler. Basically, it's a full cover 7970 water block. I hate reading out product names. It's the coolant 7970 block, anyway. Now this thing is a work of art. You can see that kind of mirror panel there, the nickel, the blocks nickel as well, all around the back. It's got quite an industrial feel to it, but still quite tarty at the same time. And the reason why I've not taken the plastic off it yet is I didn't want to put fingerprints over anything. So we're going to be having two of these. 
in crossfire in this rig, you'll see what I've tried to do is kind of keep it uh, not really too shouty colours or anything like that. Um, I'm still even not sure what colour coolant I'm going to run yet because part of me wants to just run clear coolant and there's another part of me that might go down the kind of Mayhem's um, Pearl Silver route. I don't know yet. I really need to see how things work in my head as I start to build this. But that's the water block uh, for the graphics card. And obviously there's two of those. Now I'm going to show you the, uh, the Rampage 4 water block as well. I'm kind of just trying to unpackage this off screen. Uh, there we go. Right. These again match perfectly. Because you've got the Delver in here with the nickel plating over the top. Nickel around the back. They really do look the kahunas. Um, so we've got that, and then it's also got a separate MOSFET water block that goes right at the top of the board. So I'll try and put all this away again. So we've got those. So that's the kind of um, the GPU and the motherboard. Now the CPU block is obviously again coolant this thing weighs a ton uh, so much material in this it's unreal but it really does look nice and this is the CPU 370 this is the 2011 supporting block as well but you can see by the, the slots at the top that not only does it support 2011 obviously 2011 that's 1366 pin anyway uh, sorry, 2011 is the same spacing as 1366, but because of these slots, it also fits 1155, 1156, and I believe it fits uh, 775 too, for those of you still out there on this. But if you're going to be spending this kind of money on a 775 rig, I would be saying to you now, it's time for you to jump ship and stop spending your money on stuff like this and change your motherboard and CPU. But anyway, that's massively off topic. So that's that um, block. So that's all of the water blocks covered. Now, pump. Uh, now this is a, a pump that I've basically not used before and it's the Coolant's PMP450, but many of you will know it as a D5. Uh, and it's the Vario on the back. Uh, I haven't used one of these for donkey's years. Um, so this was one of the things I said to Special Tech, I really want to use one of these in the rig, so we brought one of these in. Also, to get rid of these um, barbs, which some people cut them off and tap them and put uh, barbs into them, you can change the, the front of the pump basically where all the, the black plastic is, which is what we are going to be doing. We're going to be fitting this. Now, you, the idea with this, I'm going to take this out altogether. The idea with this is you can screw a reservoir to it. So, basically, The pump bit goes in there and you use this to secure the pump on the back, which I don't cross the threads. So that's then your pump. And then on the front, you can see that you've got the inputs and the outputs. But you can screw a reservoir in the top so you can mount it that way round if you want. I have a reservoir coming out the top of it, which is a great little idea. The only thing with that, though, is you then need mounts, which quite cleverly, they are in here. You can use the mounts to mount it where you want. But what we are going to be doing uh, is we're just going to be using this as like a pump top like you do with the uh, DDCs uh, and we're going to be running a separate reservoir. Now I'm not going to put that away in there nicely. I'm going to uh, just move swiftly on so that I can show you because otherwise we'll be here all day. Uh, right, reservoir. I've chosen a single bay reservoir basically because I did want to keep the impact on the front of the case quite minimal. But this is the TNK501. And it's a massive chunk of Delrin, basically, with a bit of stainless plate on the top. And you can see that you've got two fill ports on the top and on the bottom. But then you've also got a multitude of connections around the back. There really is no excuse with this. You can, so many options. Um, but yeah, I basically, like I said, I wanted to keep the front looking quite minimal. So this single bay reservoir will be fine. 
The only thing will be is if we do use the silver pearl, you'll see the silver pearl bouncing around inside there. Um, but I'm still of the mind that at the moment I may just use clear and then just put white lights inside. I don't know. This is something that until I kind of build the rig and get a feel for it, I'm not going to know 100% which way I personally want to swing with it. So we put that back inside. Now, radiators. Cosmos uh, has a bit of a problem with radiators in that you can only really get away with getting about a 50 mil in the top, as I have spoken to you before. So looking on my list, this is uh, the HXCU1020V coolants rad. Now basically this is 40 millimetres thick. There is a van pulling up outside before you ask. Um, it's 40 millimetres thick. You can see that the fin density is quite high. Uh, I've not used this rad before, but this is the one that I chose to go in the roof basically because we're going to have enough room there. And then in the uh, floor, we are going to be using two 240mm uh, radiators, and these are the HX240HL. These are the new radiators. These haven't long been out. Um, in fact, to the point that when these come in at Special Tech, they only got two originally, and I took both of them. <laughs> um, but this is the new rad. And that basically, the reason why I chose these is if you have a look, the uh, barbs are at the end. Now you may be thinking, why is that? But if I'm going to have two of them side by side in the bottom of the case, we'll have one on one side of the case, one on the other side of the case, uh, having the barbs at the end means that I can then loop the two together much easier. We might even be able to get a pump in between. Don't know yet until I get down there and start spacing up. But having these barbs at the end will be brilliant for the way that I want to loop this um, up. So we've got two of these going in the bottom. So that should be, uh, with the 360, that should give us ample cooling. Now, the gentle typhoons. Many of you will see the GT 1850s and start creaming in your pants because I have got loads of these and they are like rocking horse shit in the fact that you can barely ever find them. But luckily, I get along with size really well and I give them a ring and I said, right, I need some of these. I want to use them in a rig. Because the idea was with the, uh, the silver and the black theme that you can see with the water blocks, I kind of wanted to pass that on with the fans as well. Now I've got one out already. The only real drawback about them straight away is they don't come braided. And I don't think I'm going to get enough time to braid these, especially where I've got so many. So I'm going to have to do a pretty amazing job at trying to hide these cables. But that's really the only drawback. So if you're thinking about buying them, then factor in that you're going to need to do this. But it's quite easy to take the the uh, connector off and then braid them up and heat shrink and everything, make them look a lot nicer. But it's just, it takes a fair bit of time and I'm just not sure whether I'm going to get the time or not. So if I can do, I will, but I'm not making any promises. Now, a lot of you will be saying uh, these are epic and they are very, very good fans. Um, these come only second to the NFF12s. Uh, in my testing that I've had, the NFF12s do beat these. Uh, on a H100, it's about two degrees. Um, but obviously, these are significantly cheaper. You can pick these up for around £12 when they are in stock. Um, and with a £12 fan, they're a little bit more neutral coloured, so people will kind of uh, start to lean towards the fact they are a little bit more neutral looking. And if you've got to buy several on them, obviously the price saving, uh, sorry, the savings will soon rack up once you've bought three, six, eight, or whatever. Um, so yeah, in the long run, they could save you money and obviously not make your rig uh, look quite so brown because I know a lot of you don't really like it. So they are, they are going to be the fans that we're going to be using throughout the rig. I don't know how many we're going to be putting in the bottom and in the top until I get them, but trust me, I've got enough to put these everywhere. The only fans that we're not going to be changing or fan we're not going to be changing is the one in the front of the... Um, Cosmos, which is the big 220 or 200 millimeter fan, whatever it is. Uh, so over the coming videos, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to do uh, a video blocking up the Rampage 4. So we'll do that as one video. We're going to do another video uh, blocking up the Asus 7970s. We'll do that as another video. Um, and then once we've got kind of the hardware ready, I'll then probably do a video about where I'm thinking about putting stuff. We'll have a kind of a bit of a ganders with stuff kind of put in the right place. And then if I can work out how to do it, thanks to Alan, 
um, at Yarn Web Design. He did me an awesome speed art of the uh, how he made the new background for the OC3D uh, TV page on uh, on YouTube, the channel, basically. So what I want to try and do is set my camera up so that maybe when I do the final build, that I do a speed art. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do that yet. People always ask me where stuff is. If you can't find it, I've obviously not done it. Um, but if I, can, <laughs> if I can work out how to do it, then I'm going to try and do a speed art video as well of the whole rig going together. But like I said, as of yet, I need to do a lot of research. It really depends if I get the time. But this is the introduction video for the Cooling Master Coolants Cosmos 2. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you're kind of excited about this because it's been a little while since I've built a big rig like this, but there's quite a few coming um, over the coming weeks and months and stuff that we're going to do. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. I'm going to stop yabbering on, get this video rendered, and I'm pretty much going to upload it for you straight away because I'm in a good mood today. Um, so yeah, don't forget, uh, I'm going to put the uh, link underneath for the thread on Special Tech. Make sure you go in and click and say, Tiny Tom Logan sent me, yada, 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 whatever you want to say, but it's got to be in that thread. And if you want to enter the competition when you're there, that's in a separate place. So you will have to go looking for it. But that's just to say hello to me in the thread underneath so that Special Tech can see that you've followed the link from YouTube. Um, but anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.